read. Seriously, what did I just read? I, I told and I follow along with this cosmic string theory, like so you there's a string and then say you move rotate it or something uh what okay i don't know also to prevent misunderstandings i must mention that cosmic string theory and super string theory are different things anyway there are three things that one must prepare for for cos prepare for cosmic string theory space time travel towards the past one cosmic strings two of them oh by the way they are hypothesized to only exist in the space where the universe was first formed, so they might be a little hard to find. Two, even if you successfully find them, you need energy that would make them move at a speed close to the speed of light. Well, I wonder what amount of energy would be sufficient to move a crevice to the length of a galaxy at a speed of light. At the very least, I'm pretty certain that would be more than 1.21 gigawatts. What the fuck is a gigawatt? Okay, um, I need to look this up. A gigawatt. What is a gigawatt? Google.com. I said Google.com. Um, gigawatt. Hmm. One billion watts. One billion watts. So 1.2 billion watts. That's a lot of watts. Okay. As part as part of the lecture, attendees burst out laughing at that. Three. A spaceship. I'd be able to travel towards the location of the cosmic string and back. It's an absolute necessity for those who want to time travel. What do you think of this, Hyo and son? Would you like to attempt cosmic string based time travel? There's no way I could do that. Why the hell is she addressing me? I'm not the one who laughed at her or anything. Hmm? Looks like Hyo and son is not willing to try out the cosmic string theory. Then, let's consider the aforementioned wormhole theory. I think that is more realistic than the cosmic string theory. Uh, sorry about that, just got disturbed, I guess. Okay, so, so, Hyo and Sun, do you know what a wormhole is? No, don't ask me, damn it, I'm trying to lay low here. So I guess I must answer this one. It's something like a loophole or a shortcut in space, right? Uh, yes, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> I got it right. What a relief. There are two holes which are connected via a tunnel. The time that it takes to pass through that tunnel is zero regardless of how far away the holes are. It wasn't like black holes, kind of like maybe thought it was to be wormholes, like as we don't know what the fuck's on the inside of a black hole, so it's possible that black holes were wormholes, so you like go through it and then if you were to come out, maybe you'd come out on or somewhere else. I don't know. That's just something that people that people were talking about. And it was kind of interesting. So yeah. Um now where was I? Bye bye. Oh yeah. However, Here's the disappoint, disappoint notification. Super gravity is active within that tunnel, so an object would be completely crushed upon entering it. Exactly. That's why they thought that it's possible that black holes are that. That's why we need something that would negate the effects of gravity. Such a thing possible? That something is called exotic matter. It's basically material which has negative weight poses the effect of gravity. Is that what? Negative weight, huh? Can't picture that at all. I know. I want I want to know I want to know what I'm interested in exotic manner now. Something that rises when you leave it on the ground perhaps? No. 
and Kurisu clenches her fist and shows it to us. This crushed, this crushed state, crushed state that I'm showing you is the state of an object in the tunnel of a wormhole. For the object to be able to go through the tunnel, there has to be something that would repel the crushing force. Otherwise, things would not be pretty. I'm just saying that Kurisu opens her hand. With the use of exotic manner, the wormhole may be stabilized and allow the possibility of teleportation. However, there is an art required if you want to use them for time travel. Imagine that the entrance to the wormhole is in Akahabara, while the exit is in LA. Now, imagine that hole in LA goes to and back from the end of the universe, the speed close to the speed of light. How? According to the theory of relativity, time slows down for objects moving at the same speed of light. So we assume that the hole which returned to LA would be in the past. And with those conditions, the only one son can enter the wormhole and arrive at the LA from several years ago. However, we still cannot call this anything beyond zero time travel or the Hiroshima effect. The important step towards Afterwards, is to return into a wormhole from all his side by doing so, time that passed would be zero. And he owns son would appear that at the Akahabara, the same time period at which he entered the wormhole from LA side. Thus, the time travel is complete. Things necessary for wormhole theory are more easier to obtain than the ones for cosmic string theory. One, the wormhole itself. It might be somewhere in the universe, but no one has ever seen one. Two, Energy required to move a wormhole to and from the end of the universe to be close to the speed of light. Three exotic matter, which and I miss what she was going to say about. It. So realization of either of these ridicu uh, requires ridiculous amounts of work and effort, or it's more like the very idea of time machine seems uh, unrealistic. So, do you now know what I mean by when I said absurd? Every one of the time travel theories are nothing but thought experiments. Uh, okay. There, no, forget mouse. But which will never actually advance beyond the area of theories and put into practice. Whoa, I want. Oh, I don't know how you found this, America. Oh, backlog. Oh, okay, so it's that middle button. Um, energy, uh, so really, either of these, so, god damn it, it still didn't have the frame thing. Uh. Okay. Mm. Um, isn't there anything, isn't that anything simpler, like something that could just, that you could just pull out of the drawer and put to use immediately. Oh my god. Are you sure you're a student at university? Of course time travel is really ridiculous. There isn't. There isn't. A strong declaration. That is the limit we have. Okay, why is it freaking super low frames right now? I need to check it out. Okay. That's the one we have with the present day physics, though. I don't know how it will be after 10 years. And anyway, even if a method which allows EC travel to the past period would not guarantee that it's completely safe. That is to the problems concerning the principle of casualty. Time paradox. The law of conservation of mass. The entire universe has a set amount of mass which cannot be changed. So in travel from the future back to point A, past, the mass of the time machine and the people on it would be an extra. That is a contradiction. My memories of reading a ridiculous book in the past which said that if this kind of contradiction were to happen, the universe would be in danger. Though, it didn't write what kind of danger. 
If you think that law of conservation of mass applies to macro ecosystems and like the universe or microsystems like atoms or elementary particles, you're mistaken. What? Really? Phew, phew. Ah, she just saw my reaction and put on a triumphant smile. God, this is mortifying. That law only applies only to chemical reactions and is not being considered in modern physics at all. Something can be created out of nothing. Heh. <laughs> That's quite amazing. Amazing, ain't it? Mm. Then what is the pro then what is the then what is the problem? Time par time paradoxes, specifically the grandfather's paradox. One where you go back in time and kill your parent before you were born, which causes a contradiction, huh? Mm. As long as this paradox does not have proper solution, trying to travel is definitely not a possibility. So what if you just don't kill the parents? The solution is not as simple as that. It's very dangerous to think with an SF movie mindset. There are many problems besides your disappearance. Really? I doubt that's doubt that's that serious though. Okay, you. Okay, you take you. What have you impacted on this world? You impacted people. What have those people done to impact the world? They impacted other things, and then yeah, everything's fucked up. The appearance of a contradiction would mean the collapse of the principle of casualty. The crumble of the theory of relativity, and even the breakdown of all the laws of physics. A paradox is nothing but an, another thought experiment, something that neither can nor does happen in reality. And that means that even if something has only a very small chance of happening, it will never diverge from the original outcome. Sounds logical, doesn't it? There might be loopholes like the multiverse interpretation and the principle of self non contradiction, but personally I find them too fantasy like, so I would like to disregard them. <laughs> what? <sighs> Grind my teeth in anger. <sighs> I avert my eyes from a Kizkarisu as a composed facial expression. Looks like I have nothing left but to admit that she is a genius. In the end, I listened to the whole of Carisu's lecture at ATF. After the two time travels she introduced at the beginning, she explained all the others in an easy to understand manner. One second again, checking space. 